friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, so I just wanted to do a quick intro for this vlog. So last year in 2020, I had an idea where I wanted to spend 2021 going through and reading um, very popular YA fantasy series that um, I never really got a chance to read mainly either because I missed the boat for it or because I was slow or late or whatever. Um, I figured it would be a fun series to do as like vlogs and so I have like a list of books uh, specifically like why fantasy series that I'm going to read this year that I want to try and vlog my reactions to just to see if maybe I will give in to the hype and like them as well or not. Uh, I don't know why I had this idea but I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. So the first series I chose that I wanted to do was Red Queen since I already knew I was going to read it. So in this vlog I read the first two books of the series and I'm hoping to read the next two uh, and vlog that as well and I think I already have my next series lined up that I want to do also but it's still kind of up in the air so if you, need, if you have any recs totally leave them down below but yeah so this is just kind of me introducing my idea and what I wanted to do with this vlog and hopefully you all enjoy my thoughts and reactions and everything like that. Um, I'm actually really excited for this project, so hopefully you are too. Alrighty, on with the vlog. Hey friends, it is me. Um, I am starting a new vlog series. I decided that I wanted to do this fun series where I go back and I read older, popular YA fantasy books that I may have missed out on in my years so these are like books and series like the luna chronicles and the red queen series and throne of glass and um shatter me so and obviously much more so my idea is that i'm going to spend this next year uh going and reading these at least the first book and seeing how i feel and if i like it then i will obviously continue in the series if not then i won't um but i figured this would be a fun experience to vlog because i feel like these are staple books that a lot of people have read within the book community or just if you're a reader in general and i kind of missed out <laughs> on that because i went from being a fantasy reader for a little bit to a straight up just contemporary reader and i didn't really touch fantasy for a bit so I'm starting to uh, kind of go back and see, I guess, what the hype is all about for these series or what everybody liked about these series. So, yeah, that's my kind of idea for this. This is going to be my test video just to see how it goes. The first book I'm actually going to be working on is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I'm doing a buddy read with Aaron from Booked and Busy and Kay from I Love Books OK. And they actually encouraged me to pick up the book and check it out because they really loved it. So this will be my first first experiment. We're supposed to be reading 50 pages a day. I'm already two days behind. So that's wonderful. But that's okay. I'm probably going to start reading some pages tonight. Probably not going to read the 100 pages. But that's okay. At least I want to read a little bit before I head to bed. So yeah, that's my plan. Hopefully this all made sense and this actually ends up being an interesting experiment. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues. Ryan Little. 
dazu. <lacht> Hey friends, so I got to about chapter 11 in this and I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I don't know why, but this year or like lately, I've really enjoyed reading books where like a class of people is fighting for their freedom. So like basically in ember the ashes is the same way so red queen is kind of the same way too where they have the people with red blood and then the people with silver blood and the silvers are the people with power and so they are like basically treated like gods whereas the reds are treated like servants and i kind of like that like obviously i don't like the mistreatment but that i don't know why but i guess this trope is like my trope <laughs> i guess i'm finding that it's something i enjoy reading in a story um i'm very intrigued because this isn't going how i expected to like not that i had a lot of expectations because i really didn't know what this series is about besides the fact that it involved red and silver blood but the fact like that it's not going the way I thought it was gonna go is very intriguing and I don't know if I'm sensing a love triangle or if this is just like a thing but I'm I'm thinking one's gonna happen um I am intrigued I'm definitely intrigued to finish and see what happens and maybe even continue the series but it's, it's it's interesting so i'm excited that i'm enjoying it and i'm glad that this is probably gonna work out for me and this vlog so that's fun um so i'm gonna go to bed because it's late but i just wanted to catch up i officially caught up i'm on page 106 so i have to read 50 more pages tomorrow which means i'll probably update tomorrow and yeah i'm just really excited to continue on and i'll update y'all later <music>reading more of red queen i am finding this so intriguing i think mare is such an interesting character because she's not really reacting to the situations like i thought she would um but at the same time she is so her reactions are really like entertaining me honestly and i find them so intriguing the princes i find suspicious <laughs> mostly just because i don't trust them right now especially like cal is playing is supposed to be this nice prince who's like hiding his exterior and mavin's supposed to be like the prince in the shadow but i don't trust either of them right now because i need them to prove that they're loyal or something so yeah but it's an interesting story i'm enjoying it i'm definitely interested to see what's going to happen especially because like they're figuring out why mare is the way she is and like what makes her so special so i'm definitely intrigued to see why she's so different this is just me checking in i'll update y'all later
so this is just a break in the vlog where I'm about to go to work. So, um, I haven't picked up Red Queen in like a day or two just because of work. Um, but I'm super excited because I think I'm going to plan to pick it up either tonight or tomorrow night, either way. Um, but so far I'm really enjoying it. It's giving me big Ember vibes. Honestly, with the whole like oppressed people trying to kind of figure out how to change their lives and fight back and achieve better things that they want. So I'm really loving that. Um, I love Mare. She's so funny. Like her reactions to things are really killing me right now. So I'm just like, this is hilarious. Um, I'm on chapter 15, which is page like 168 out of like 400. Oh, no, 377. So not bad. Um, I don't trust the princes. <laughs> I literally don't know what to think of them yet. So I'm just kind of like skeptical because I'm like, mm, I feel like you're going to ruin everything. So that's fun. The best friend, I'm like, you're stupid. So that's also fun. I'm definitely intrigued by like the what are what are they called the the red guard the scarlet guard. I'm definitely intrigued by like what they are, and like I'm definitely looking forward to meeting them. I hope we kind of meet them in this first book, but I feel like it might still just be brief glimpses. Maybe I don't know, but I'm definitely intrigued. I'm so glad Aaron and Kay made me buddy read this with them because it's definitely an intriguing read. Um, I think we might have to just buddy read the entire series at this point, so this might be one of those vlogs where I do, well, not the entire series, but maybe the first two books. But we'll see about that. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go to work now, and I will update y'all later. Hey friends, it is me. So, I just got done doing a live of reading sprints, and I read some more of Red Queen. I'm on page 229 now, which is chapter 19, and things are getting spicy. Mare is making some decisions, and there are plans happening, and it's very intriguing. So I think I'm going to finish it within the next day or so, and I think I might just start the second one and disable my entire TBR, but we shall see. I am done, I finished the book, and I have all the feels. Oh my gosh, that was like an explosive ending, but there were some things that happened that I had a feeling about, so I feel validated about my suspicions, but oh my gosh, so much happened, and I don't even know. <laughs> I don't want to make this a spoiler vlog because, well, honestly, I'm a spoiler because this series is how old and y'all, like, I'm assuming everybody has read this. Um, I will preface and say, okay, I'm going to start talking spoilers now, so if you don't want to be spoiled for this series, series definitely uh, skip to the next part. So, I knew the brother wasn't dead. I knew that. I just had a feeling. I was like, Pixar didn't happen. There's nobody. He's not dead. Knew that. I knew Mavin couldn't be trusted. I was like, it was going too smoothly with him. The fact that he was too willing to join the Scarlet Guard, the fact that he was too willing to offer up information, I literally was suspicious from the beginning. I was like, this is too good to be true. So yeah, Cal pissed me off because he wasn't willing to get off his stupid high horse to really look at the, the bigger picture here and realize that like, oppression is wrong so yeah mayor was the only good shining light in this book for right now like literally i just feel so bad because she was tricked so hard by mavin but like it the thing is it wasn't even like she was in love with him like it was like she thought he was down for the cause and he wasn't like that's not cool man but I knew it. I feel validated in my opinions that I was, uh, my suspicions about him were right. My suspicions about the brother were right. I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens in the next book. Because now they're going to start, like, 
assembling the X-Men, basically, and I really want to know how that's gonna go. Also, I really want her to be with Cal. I want him to get over himself, honestly. But we shall see what, what happens with that. So I have, uh, excuse me, gotten home from work. Actually, I've actually been home for from work for a while, but I wasn't really doing much. I just played Among Us for like a solid two hours, which, okay. And then I wanted to show you what I got. So I had a mission when I went into work today. It was to um, get some books. And I actually bought the rest of the Red Queen series. So I already had Glass Sword, which means I went and I bought King's Cage, War Storm, um, Broken Throne, which is a bind up of the novellas, and then Cruel Crown, which is also another like novella, I believe. So I just kind of went ham and I bought them all because I was like, this isn't a game anymore now that I'm like attached to the series. So that's fun. I just wanted to show you my spoils and gush. So other than that, um, I'm probably gonna start Glass Sword soon. And when you do, when I do, I will update you. So yeah, bye. Hey friends, it's me back and I starting Glass Sword tonight. So I'm technically on live right now, as you can see, I'm doing some reading sprints, but I figured it's a good time to start this. And it does not disappoint. It picks up where we left off in the first book. And so many things are happening and chaos is ensuing and I am loving it. So, yeah, just wanted to update you and let you know that I started the second book, and I'll update you all on my thoughts later. Hey friends, uh, just wanted to update you. So, I've read a little bit more of Glass Sword. I think I'm on chapter 9, and uh, things are getting a little spicy, a little dicey. I don't know why I said that, but we're just gonna go with it. Um... She's learning more, like, w well, we're, me and Mare, are learning more about the Scarlet Guard, which I am definitely enjoying. So, um, I'm hoping that we'll learn even more just about, like, the group in general and just the people a part of it and stuff like that. So, I'm definitely enjoying it, um, and I'll update you later. Ryan Little. <laughs> So it's me checking in. Um, so I actually did finish Glass Sword. I kept forgetting to film whenever I would pick it up. So I'm sorry about that. But I figured I would do this ending clip to end the vlog and just talk about my feelings of Glass Sword in general as well. And then my feelings for Red Queen. Um, I can't remember if I made this a spoilery vlog or not. But we're gonna just go with it. So... 
I enjoyed Last Sword. Um, I thought the beginning was really good, and then the ending was really good. The middle I struggled with a little bit because it was just kind of slow paced, and I was like getting a little bored. But things picked up towards the end, and I was in again. I it was definitely intriguing. I was pulled in definitely uh, by everything that was happening. I was slightly sad because a character ended up dying and I was like why would you bring this character back in order to, and then make him die again like I don't understand <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> and then I was very frustrated by the end because I think um and this isn't like spoilery at all but there are moments throughout Glass Sword where people are questioning Mare's decisions and her like uh, mindset behind everything and just like what she's been doing and the thing they're not realizing is one she is traumatized because she's been going through a lot since the first book uh, there's been a lot of transitioning she hasn't had a chance to really process everything that's happened to her so like she's still boom 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 on the go no processing like she's definitely dealing with her trauma in like she's definitely still struggling with her trauma obviously and so the fact that everybody was just like questioning her was really frustrating but also the fact that like she legit was making the hard decisions that nobody wanted to make and they were hating her for that but then like at the same time they were putting all this pressure on her to save the people and save the reds and all this kind of stuff and it's like okay you got, you can only have one or the other like you can't get mad at her when she's making the decisions you want her to make but then like she's not doing it the way you want the, her to do it like i just don't think that's fair and it was slightly frustrating and annoying to see like everybody doing that to her especially cal like i was getting really annoyed with him by the end because he legit was playing both sides and I felt like he, at some point he has to pick a side and at some point he needs to like realize that Mare's trying to help him overall like she's trying to help everybody so I just hated seeing that honestly I'm intrigued to see what happens in King's Cage where Glass Sword ends off I'm really anxious because it does not end on a good note for my hopes and dreams but I'm definitely intrigued to continue on in the third book and see like where Mare is and how everything goes about and stuff like that too um so yeah definitely still loving the series definitely excited to get to the third book and uh if y'all want let me know down below in the comments if you want to see me vlog the third and fourth book and i will yeah so this is the first video in this series that i'm trying to do hopefully it worked <laughs> uh let me know if i should do this again with some other favorites i'm planning on doing this for some other like older YA fantasy faves um, because I just think it would be fun especially since I had I legit haven't read them before so I figured it would be fun to show you my reactions to them um, but again let me know if you want to see more of this because I think it would be a fun idea to do all right I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog and see you in the next one also leave me some recommendations down below of some books you would want to see me do this with um i'm trying to keep them older ya fantasy that like are just very hyped that i probably haven't read if that makes sense so give me some recs so i can add them to my list and i can make sure to include them in the book Alrighty, i'll talk to you all later bye oh yeah you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds and oh my god, there's a black teacher. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he's teaching English. We love to see the diversity. <laughs> <laughs>